What's going on, everybody? You already know who it is and what it is. We're checking in one more time today, and uh, we will be discussing Fred O'Bain uh, in my city, actually. Well, not him. He was in my state, you dig? Uh, he was actually up in Fayetteville, which is like a military town. You know, if you're familiar with uh, Fayetteville, you know, it's a college slash little military based town. And so uh, he actually did a song out there. You know, it's hood out in Fayetteville, though. It's definitely hood out there. And, um, you know, he went out there but and uh, actually sw- ended up swinging on a fan. And it's uh, swinging on a uh, NBA young boy fanatic. He did. That's all the fans short for. I think a lot of people forget that the fans short for fanatic. And <laughs> that's exactly what bro- little bro was, a-, a fanatic. You dig? He up there talking, claiming 4K trade and this, that, and the third. Man, these folks is crazy. You know, uh, my take on everything today is that, you know, these fans, they just – they out of control nowadays, man. There's so much dick riding going on and, you know, people riding for folks who don't even know them and this, that, and the third. These these songs and these drugs got young people so hyped up and feeling like they really down. You know, young boy probably wouldn't even shake your hand if he saw you in person and you over here cloud chasing and trying to get into it with with Fredo and antagonize him and this, that, and the third when this man just showed up to get his money. He did. Um, just foolish. Just a foolish situation. And I even seen that um, back with NLE Chopper, another young uh, young boy fan. Hey, young boy got the, young boy got them fans, man. He uh, he tried uh, NLE Chopper at the, at the airport. You know, actually actually bought him. You know, over young boy. And so you know, man, yeah, these these boys out here, man, got these female tendencies, dog. They. They they riding for for young boy man it, it, you know this it's funny to me this is extremely funny to me man and I just uh, I don't really know what's going on I'm not sure if it's the drugs none of that you feel me I think the closest thing that I could kind of relate it to because I've never been fanned out but I mean I remember one time uh, uh, this dude and I think I was I was actually on a vacation in Cabo San Lucas and we was all on a bus and one of the dudes was from Atlanta. And uh, he said something. I think I, me and bro were talking. And he was just trying to get in the business because, you know, everybody want to, when they see you that nigga, they be trying to, you know what I'm saying, trying to highlight you, have a little conversation with you and whatnot. But I was actually talking about, I was either uh, signing some Gucci or talking about Gucci. Somebody said about Gucci because if you know Justin, that was my boy. Like, I used to love some Gucci, man. You feel me? So he, uh, he heard me say something about Gucci, uh, like a real, like a real one or something like that. He said Gucci, Gucci man, uh, man, bro, he is not like that. He got hit in his, oh, he got man, my partner knocked all his teeth out in the uh, in the county jail. Now I knew he was telling the truth, cause I had seen a Gucci interview where he was talking like he 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 said like yeah you know a dude hit me in my mouth and knocked all my teeth out, but it ain't nothing but gangsters down where I was at, you know, so it was what it was, but I ended up out beating them to a pulp, you feel me, but you know, it is what it is, but I kept it real on the situation, so I knew he was telling the truth, but it just so happened, like, I remember feeling like, man, hold on, man, don't be talking about bro like that, like he no buster, you feel me, like, on me, but at the end of the day, you know, I ain't never been no sucker, so it's like, I ain't finna be riding for nobody who don't. I mean, bro, that's how you feel, nigga. Fuck it. You feel me? <laughs> it is what it is. But it's like, yeah, that's the only time I done ever felt anything remotely close to how these super fans be feeling and nowadays, you know. But, uh, you know, blessings to everybody, man. You know, I just wanted to tap in and get my take on it. Y'all let me know what y'all think concerning the whole situation, man. Is uh, Are y'all riding for y'all favorite artists? You dig? Are y'all jumping out there ready to fight? You know, behind y'all artists, or you know, is this was this just a cloud chasing move, and the, the fan was just using uh, NBA young boy to try to to try to get his little his little rep up, you know? Yeah, but that nah, we'll leave it there for now. Uh, until next time, you know, everybody be blessed. Be sure to like, subscribe. You know, tap in with me. One.